Hello friends and welcome to my reading plans for March. I want March to be mostly a mood reading month. I just want to pick up whatever I want and, and see where my reading takes me. I kind of impulsively decided to sign up for the Realmathon readathon or Realm of the Readathon, which is created by Cassidy from Covers with Cassidy. I will leave her announcement video linked down below if you want to join in on this as well. But I've never participated in this readathon. I've heard tell of it, <laughs> obviously, um, but I never really looked into it. This year I watched the announcement video and I was like, yeah, I want to do that. But I don't have books specifically picked out for the readathon. Basically, I'm just going to again mood read see where the month takes me and as i'm going through the month i will pick up books that fit the prompts for the readathon i decided to join the realm of creation it made the most sense for me i'm an animal lover and so that is the team i'll be repping for this readathon which i'm so excited about i've never done like a team-based competition-based readathon so i'm really excited to see how this one goes um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing, but I don't have specific books picked out for that yet. That is that is the main event that I'll be uh, doing in March, okay? Uh, next, let's talk about new releases that are coming out in March that I'm interested in. Don't know if I'll get to them in March, but I wanted to mention them because I might, you know, I might. <laughs> Those Beyond the Wall by Micaiah Johnson, which is the second book to The Space Between Worlds, which is the one I absolutely loved. Um, this comes out March 12th, March 12th, and I am excited to read it. I feel like this is following a different character in a different story, so I don't think I would need to reread the first book. Then we have Where Sleeping Girls Lie by Farida Abike Ayumede. That This one I'm probably going to pick up. Like, I'm very excited for this. Um, this is the author who wrote Ace of Spades, and this is her second novel. And it's another thriller, another like dark academia thriller, and I'm definitely in the mood for that. So I might pick this one up. That comes out on March 19th. Then on March 26th, we have The Good, The Bad, and The Aunties by Jessica Cusatanto. The Dial A for, I literally have it right here, it's Dial A for Aunties series by Jessica Cusatanto. It is the third book. I'm dying for it. I cannot wait. I love Jessie's writing and her humor. Oh my god, these books are hilarious, and I'm so excited for the third one, so I will probably pick it up immediately. And then also on March 26th, we have Icarus by Kate Ingram. This is a YA queer uh, romance that reimagines the tale of Icarus, which sounds pretty good. I love Kate Ingram's writing, so I don't know if I'll get to this right away, but it's coming out in March, so I thought I'd mention it. Let's talk about the book club pick for March. The Black Hat Book Coven is going to be reading Grave Briar by Casey L. Bond for March. I don't know anything about this. I think this was Kristen's pick. And all I know is that it's romanticy. It's got witches. Uh, that's, that's literally all I know. The cover is cool. Um, I'm excited to give it a read and try it out. We'll see how it goes. Um, if I have information for when the live show is going to be, I'll put it up on the screen. Although at this point I don't. So, but if I have it, you should have already seen it. So there you go. So that is the book club pick. Don't have a physical copy of it yet. And I don't know if I'm going to get one. I, I was thinking of just reading it uh, digitally, getting the ebook, see how I feel about it first. And, and then we'll go from there. So yeah, that is the book club pick. So I will definitely be reading that in March. Moving into reading down my backlist. So I successfully completed the reading down my backlist challenge for January and February. So now it's time for March and April. And I have two books that I did not read um, that I purchased back in 2021 that need to be read before the end of April. Otherwise I have to unhaul them. Those two books are The Midnight Library by Matt Haig and A Declaration of the Rights of Magicians by H.G. Perry. Don't know why I haven't gotten to this one. Like, I love Matt Haig's writing and I picked this up, you know, like almost right when it came out and I still haven't gotten around to reading it. I've heard so many good things about it. I've heard that it's very emotional. I feel like it's gonna make me cry, but I don't know why I keep putting it off. Anyway, this needs to be read before the end of April. And then we have uh, A Declaration of the Rights of Magicians, which I'm a little bit intimidated about. The only reason I picked this up is because I read The Unlikely Escape of Uriah Heep by this author and I really enjoyed it. So I was down for reading something else by the author. If it hadn't been for the author, I wouldn't have picked this up because 
this doesn't seem like the kind of thing that I want to read, especially not right now. This is historical fantasy that is compared to Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, which I've never had any interest ever in reading. This kind of takes like a, a whole world view and it's during the Age of Enlightenment and there's like revolution and stuff like that, but it includes magic in it and it's like we're kind of fighting for the rights of magicians as well there's countries where magic has been outlawed um there's countries where it hasn't and like that's that's what this book is about basically it says it's a poetic tale of justice liberation and dark magic and uh revolution so i i don't know how i'm gonna feel about this and i don't know that i'll get to it in march don't necessarily need to read them in march but I need to read them soon. I am hoping to, and this is this is where things get a little crazy, um, read the entire Crescent City series trilogy. I, does anyone know if there's going to be a fourth book? Because I know Sarah J Mass has talked about wanting to write a fourth book, but I don't know that she actually sold a fourth book. If anyone has any information, like please let me know. But I do need to reread the first two books before I can get into this because I had no idea what was going on when I started reading this. Um, so of course, House of Earth and Blood, House of Sky and Breath, and House of Flame and Shadow, I'm adding to the TBR. Don't know that I'll even want to do this in March. Again, I'm gonna be mood reading, so we'll see what mood I'm in when it comes time. Along with mood reading, I also wanna like catch up on some of the things that I have been putting off, um, because there's a lot of things that I've been putting off or that I have added to my January TBR, my February TBR that I still haven't got around to reading. So those are the books overall that I'm adding to this possibility pile. Two big books here. I did start reading this in like end of January, beginning of February, but had to put it down because I wanted to focus on House of Flame and Shadow and you saw how that went. So I would like to pick this back up because I was enjoying what I read of it. And then another very large book, uh, The Fires of Heaven. Heaven. <laughs> by Robert Jordan, book five in The Wheel of Time. Definitely want to get around to reading this because I put it on my January TBR. I think I added it onto my February TBR. Still haven't gotten around to reading it. I don't know that I'm going to get through the whole thing, but I want to at least start it in March if I can. The buzzword for the buzzword reading challenge uh, for March is character names and titles. And I didn't have, I thought I would have more, but I don't have a ton. Um, but I do have Finley Donovan is Killing It by El Casamato. So I'm thinking that I will read this in the month of March. But this is the one that stuck out to me on my shelves. I don't think I currently have anything else, but you know, I could be wrong. And this is the one I'm gonna go with. I'm excited because I've heard amazing things about the Finley Donovan series as a whole. And I'm really excited to see how I feel about it. Um, I think it could be a really fun, cozy, good time. So I know for sure that I want to pick up some romance. I've learned recently that I need to have at least ro one romance on my TBR every single month because I start getting the itch, you know, to read some romance, particularly just like some really fun, quick, easy rom-coms. So I'm not adding any specifically to this TBR, but just know that it's gonna happen in March. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up something. I just don't know what yet. And then the last thing I have to talk about is this duology, which I wanted to read since January and still haven't got around to reading, but that is Divine Rivals is the first book, the second book being Ruthless Vows. These look so beautiful. I love these covers. Anyway, I have talked about this again and again and again, and every time I say, I just have this feeling that I'm absolutely gonna love this. It's just giving me those vibes, like this is gonna be my book. So because of that, I need to stop putting it off and just like give it a read and see how I feel about it. So it's going on the TBR. And obviously if I read this, I'm going to want to, and enjoy it, I'm gonna immediately want to go into the second book, so I'm putting both of them on the TBR. So that is pretty much it. That's all I'm gonna share because I really don't know where my reading is gonna take me in March, but I'm excited to find out and I'm excited to see what I end up picking up and how my reading goes in the month of March and how the readathon goes in the month of March. I will attempt attempt to do some reading vlogs. Talk to me down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're picking up any of these books. If you want to let me know you are here but you don't have anything to say, leave me some kind of weapon uh, emoji 
whether that be a sword or whatever a weapon emoji in the comments if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up hit subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye